This house differs from the others. It's the only one that looks habitable. A low, almost defeated fence rings it. Almost defeated? What does that even mean? Smoke rises from the chimney and you can smell what could be a stew, heavily spiced. Even glass windows adorned with drapes are intact. A small dented brass bell hangs near the front gate and a well-swept path leads from the gate to the door of the house. Along with the side, along the side of the house lies a garden. Vegetables, it seems. And in the middle of the garden you see a scarecrow with black stones for eyes and a wicked grin stitched on its burlap face. Uh-huh. Okay. Ringing the bell might- might be- ooh. What an everlasting damnation! After a few moments, the door creaks open and an old woman with a tangle of gray hair and greenish skin steps out. Is that actually a witch? The old bell dame. So what in damnation are you doing here? The old woman squints at you with disapproval. Her hair is a tangle of gray and her wrinkled skin is an unusual shade of green. Both her eye eyebrows and ears taper to points. I'm looking for a lost child. Have you seen him by chance? A boy? What would I do with a brat? Pickle him in a jar? That's rich. She gives a rattling laugh. Where is it written if an old woman likes a little peace and quiet, she must be a child-stealing witch? How about in the Wizard of Oz? Or no, Hansel and Gretel. That's, that's where it is. Who knows what could have snatched up a child. Mayhaps he's been eaten by goblins or lured to the swamp by the wandering lights. Or maybe his poor, sobbing mother with all her false tears strangled him in his sleep and then put him to bed with a shovel somewhere deep in the forest and now looks for someone to mantle the blame? Go to her, squeeze answers from her, and make her tell her, tell, tell where her whelp is. But don't be bothering me. Hmm. Damn it. Failed perception check, huh? Who are you? Me, eh? I'm just a harmless old woman, hoping for some peace and quiet. The old bell dame, they call me, and that's fine. I've been called worse in my life. What are you- why are you asking? What fool's errand brings you all the way out here? Sure. The herb. Ah, huh. you've got a good eye. The herb is useful, but not by itself. Look here. She shows you three different herbs. This one's mud leaf. This one, that there is gloomberry. And that, that's the dizzy head. One guess what it does. If you find three bundles of each, bring them to me. Sure. How can I help you, good woman? Well, now we're talking. Much better than poking around where you don't belong, nattering on an, on like a fool. Here, look. This, this is black rattle cap, the spore pods inside, the best thing for the lungs and the skin. Me, I use them for tea. They're rare, though, but they grow thickest at the mud bowl east of here. Get me at least ten. Yes, ten, then we'll talk. Sure. I should take harem to those dwarven ruins. Ah! Stefano... Mosquito. I know that's not his name, but... Perfect! Perfect! 
These are way easier than they used to be. Might be because I have more people with me this time. You see Sir Stefano Moscani from Pitox. He looks reduced from when you first met him. His clothes are torn and bloodstained, his waxed hair and mustache are bent at odd angles. Noticing you, Stefano salutes you with his rapier, and he seems genuinely pleased to see you. We meet again! I confess I never thought I'd be glad to see you, Sir Stefano. I barely recognize you with all the face powder. Gloat whatever you want, I have earned it. I may even owe you an apology for my behavior when we last met. Is it weird that I don't remember this guy at all? Despite the many flaws, your barony has some potential. Sir Stefano leans on his rapier wearily. The people here, yourself included, are passionate and ready to embrace progress. Not all countries are so... open. The people of Galt might as well be a mob. Bravoy is eating itself from within by continual struggles, struggles for power, and Numeria, why, it's hardly a land at all. I'll show you barbarian strength. First, I show you the floor! But here I see a beginning. A beginning of something greater. Your people admire you, respect you, and believe in a future with you as their leader. Not all may say the same. I will report this to my king, Yeravetti. Maybe this barony is actually worth worthy of becoming Batox's vassal. Yeah, I'd rather kill all of you. Yes. You look surprised. Uh, what did uh, you think I would offer? Do you think us equals? If your barony were even a hint of becoming a rival to Patox, why his highness, Irovetti, why would why he would need to deal with that threat by vassal treaty or by steel? Ha! Huh, your honesty is welcome. Next time we meet, it could be on the battlefield. I will look forward to that meeting, your grace, however it unfolds. It has been an honor. Sure. It is done. That was interesting.